What is up, everybody? Welcome back, Fox Body Garage. Today is Saturday. We're back on that Chevy pickup truck, 1500. We put the motor in. We were ready to crank the key over. And what happens? The fuel lines are leaking everywhere. I call up the owner. I said, boy, it's time for fuel lines. And of course, what would you think he said, guys? Put it down in the comments if you agree. He said, well, they didn't leak when I bring you the truck. I said, yeah, you're right, they didn't. I said, but the minute you touched them, they corroded and they fell apart. What do you want to do? So... He said, yeah, let's go ahead and put a f set of fuel lines. I said, factory lines is going to have to require to remove the motor up and this and that. I said, nope. I said, there's a company out there called Lines Direct. Check out the kit that it comes with. It comes with braided, flexible lines so you could sneak it and all that nice stuff without removing the motor. Shout out to Lines Direct. Nice product. And here's an overview of it right now. Without further ado, Marky Mark's under there. He's trying to unbolt it. Say hi, Mark. How you doing? That's it. And here are the lines, guys. It comes with a flexible fuel line, braided. And then the steel line goes the all the way connect. back to the gas tank. With the factory connectors on it already and everything. Very nice. Very happy. Let's see how it goes, and let's see if we could fire up this truck. Like I said, the motor is in. We were ready to fire it up, and we ran into some fuel line issues. So with that said, another day, another Saturday on this truck. I guess uh, we're going to have to jack the cost of doing this job, even though he's my buddy. I know you're watching. You know how it is. You're in the business. We're just DIY. So hopefully we can get this thing out, done, finished, complete today, and uh, move on to some real projects like Fox Body. Maybe uh, we have. What else do I have? What else do we have to do? We got a Barracuda. Mark's got a Barracuda. We might have that coming in here, putting that on the channel as we build and repair all that. Uh, what else we got? How's that Barracuda? Pretty good. Yeah? Solid. What, what does it need? Uh, I just put a new K member in it, put new, uh, did a disc brake conversion on the front. We're going to put a slant 6 in it for now, but hopefully by the time it comes here, we will put a nice stout small block. So and for starters, yeah. we're putting in that slant six. We're just trying just to, to get, get it, it to run. Yep, we're just trying to get it to run. All right, so guys, we got some stuff going on here. And uh, the weather's cooling off, so it's not 100 degrees out and or 100 degrees in the driveway. So these are the next month or six weeks that we could really bust our tails and start getting things done. Also, my kid's XR50, I got to rebuild the carburetor again. It worked for a week, and then it clogs up. I don't know what's going on. All right, guys, stay tuned for uh, the next seg segment or update. My wife is here today. Beautiful. She is wonderful. She gives us her back so we can check her out. Uh, whoa, whoa, how's she looking, whoa. guys? All right, yeah. that's cool. You're not videoing that, right? Yes, I stop, am. Stop. Do you have anything in that bag for us? Oh, Look, God. she bought us breakfast. What I a good girl. Him. All right, guys, so that's the story. Keep in touch. Comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and let's get uh, this truck going, and we'll, we'll be back. Peace. All right, guys, we're back. Fox Body Garage. We just finished the fuel lines. We're topping off the fluids. Let's see if this thing is going to start. Let me see if I put you guys somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to put you guys right here. How about that? Hopefully the camera don't fall. There you go. I don't know. Can you see the motor? Can you see the motor? There you go. How about that one? How about over here? There you go. Let's see.
let's see. Let me break my camera. <laughs> First initial spot. There we go. Completed. It went away the noise. Whatever it is, it goes and comes. It's definitely not in the motor, that's for sure. It sounds like it's in the transmission or the transfer case. It is that, guys. I don't know. It's definitely not in the motor. Alright, well. Motor job is done. Here's the fuel rail lines. Nice, nice. Something like bell housing, uh, transmission. I don't know what's going on. But that's what they said. They said it was the motor making noise. The motor ain't making noise no more. So we'll see what happens. Alright, that's in. Fuel lines are in, motors in, the truck runs. It still makes that noise. It sounds like the exhaust, like a heating pipe. I don't know. You hear it? Something's rattling. Then it goes away. It definitely ain't the motor. So, with that said, guys, that'll be the conclusion of the LS swap. Until the next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Alright guys, we're good. We're done. Peace.